the sample data and, and using that to infer onto the entire population. Once we get good at doing that, once we have that conceptually down, what we would like to do is to get as clear in terms of mathematical tools as possible using statistics so that in probability in essence so that so that so that we can be more confident right then we can if we can use statistical equations then we usually have more predictive power uh, and confidence going into the future so probability theory is a uh, theory in statistical inference so probability theory is the backbone of statistical inference it provides the language and the mathematic tools needed to quantify uncertainty and uh, to make educated guesses. So we're using the mathematical tool when we're looking at statistical inference of probability theory. So it provides a means to, to quantify how likely or unlikely the observed data would be assuming a particular statistical model is true. So note what, we're, what we have to do if you, if you look at something from a scientific kind of approach, usually if you go into a laboratory, for example, what they're trying to do is isolate everything that has an impact to a few different impacts on, on a particular item, whatever they're testing, right? So that so that then they can see the cause and effect of the one of the one thing that they're looking at. So they're trying to isolate everything so that they can look at the cause and effect. When we look at kind of uh, predictability in the real world, we have to make similar kind of assumptions. We have to basically say. Well, here's the statistical model that I'm putting together. Certain assumptions are going to be made in the uh, in the statistical model to make predict projections predictions about future outcomes, for example, in an election. And if